Hi, my name is Giacomo Candian. I am the responsible for the um, academic uh, side of the Master in Applied Financial Economics. And I welcome you to the program if you're new to the program. Um, I want to, um, uh, to take this time to answer some of the questions that uh, you might have about the supervised project or the memoir or the, the structure of the program in general. And um, uh, I'll, uh, I'll start with that right now. Hi, I am a professor at uh, the Department of Finance. I teach uh, capital market theory at the master level, and my research expertise uh, covers uh, econometrics and corporate finance. I, I work on privatization and corporate governance. I am your academic advisor at, uh, at the MSc in Finance. You can ask me uh, any question relative to courses selection. I can help you to plan your courses during your master. I, I am the person who is in charge to approve your supervised project or thesis when you choose your uh, subject. So any question relative to uh, courses uh, any uh, academic uh, questions you have to, to write to me. I'm the, the right person. I'm full professor in the Department of Decision Science. Um, I'm specializing in probability and statistics, but I'm doing financial engineering for many years. Uh, my research interests concern uh, risk management and also high frequency data. Um, I have topics about uh, derivative securities and uh, I would say credit risk, so dealing with rare events. So that's about it. Mrs. Valerie, I know that this is the first year that we have the supervised project stream in the English program at the MSc in Finance. And I was wondering, is it possible for, to transfer from thesis to supervised project or from supervised project to thesis? And how does it work? Yes, uh, first of all, we are very happy to welcome you in uh, the new English uh, version of the supervised project, project stream uh, this, this fall. It's, so you are a new cohort and we are happy to uh, welcome you. And yes, it is possible to transfer from, from one stream to the other. For instance, from uh, the thesis stream to the supervised project stream or vice versa. But you can do only once in your, in your master. And to do this transfer, you just have to write to me and to Anaïs Grégoire, and we will manage your request. Giacomo, could you tell us how students choose their professors and or their subjects? Yes, uh, of course, this is a, one of the main questions that uh, you're going to, to think about throughout your, uh, your stay uh, in, the, in the program. And it's one of the most important questions that you should ask yourself. What is the topic that you want to, uh, to work on and who do you want to work on uh, with? Uh, so the way to, to choose a, a topic, whether you are in the thesis stream or the supervised project stream, is to go and look up the web pages of the professors in the uh, Department of Economics or, or Finance, if you're doing Applied Financial Economics, one of the two. And um, in, the, in our personal web page, you would find the areas of interest, so the areas in which we, we conduct research. And uh, you will also see the, um, the students that we have supervised in the past. So you will see uh, the name of the student, the thesis that has been, uh, or the supervised project that has been done. And um, oftentimes these things are, are um, accessible. So you can see what type of work has been done, what type of methodology has been used. So of course you want to, um, to choose um, a professor that has interest in um, one of the questions that you are interested in, in answering in your thesis or your supervised project. 
this is um, the, the topic that you will choose for your thesis or supervised project will be something that you will spend a lot of time thinking about. Um, already the, the supervised project is something that um, takes uh, more than 400 hours to complete. The thesis is even longer. So you want to make sure that you choose a topic that um, you really like thinking about for a long time. Um, so that said, once you have identified the topic of interest, you will try to find the best match with, uh, uh, with the topic and the professor. And uh, you should try to initiate a contact with the professor and try to discuss the possibility of being supervised by, by that professor. Nakamoka, can you tell us how the supervised project and or the thesis subject is validated and or if it's possible to change subject? and frequency of meetings with the professor and the student? Yes, so these are very important questions. How to validate the subject of your uh, supervised project or thesis? Um, the validation needs to be done with the professor that is going to supervise you. Uh, that is the, uh, uh, the most important approval that, that you need. So formally, uh, he is the one or, uh, or she's the one that's gonna sign off the, the first part of the, of the paperwork. And um, on a, a second phase, the supervised project or the thesis also needs to be approved by the, uh, by the person who is responsible for the program. And that, in that case, it would be myself. Um, in terms of changing subject of the supervised project or a thesis, it is a possibility, uh, but it's, um, it's not a, a desirable one in, in the sense that um, uh, you, you have to understand that a lot of resources are invested both from the side of the student and from the side of the professor to first uh, define and uh, set out the, uh, the path for the, uh, for the project or the thesis. So of course, being a, a research project, uh, it's, it's understood that there's going to be adjustments that are done along the way uh, because things uh, may not turn out the way uh, um, they, they were expected to. Uh, but of course, there's a difference between small adjustments and a complete change of, uh, of subject. In terms of the frequency of the meetings for the thesis and the uh, supervised project, um, I would say for the thesis, it's quite important to meet relatively frequently with your advisor. Uh, that's because the thesis is, um, is a, a piece of, um, uh, of research, of scientific work that uh, requires uh, adjustments and uh, in constant input from uh, from a person who has experience in uh, in, in, in the research uh, side of things. Uh, for the uh, so I would say you know meeting your professor every uh, every couple of weeks or uh, every uh, three weeks is is desirable. Uh, but then it can vary uh, depending on the on the, the professor's schedule and and his way of, of working with the students. The supervised project, um, the, the frequency of the meetings can vary depending on what type of project is, is being done. If it's, a, if it's a supervised project done within a company or a firm, it might uh, well be that most of the direct supervision is done by the firm, and so the meeting with the professor would happen just once or twice. Uh, if it's a supervised project that is done at the university with the professor, then the meetings might be more frequent than that. Thank you. Could you tell us now when should students start defining their subject? Yes. So in terms of when to start uh, searching uh, or, or searching for a, for a supervised project or a thesis, um, the answer depends on, um, on which one you're doing. So. Um, in, um, in terms of the supervised project, uh, there's a, uh, a constraint on how early you can start the supervised project. You need to have completed at least 12 credits of master degree courses, which means that uh, if you um, are taking four courses per semester, that requires that you have completed at least one, uh, one semester of, of classes before you can, uh, you can start the supervised project. Normally, uh, students uh, wait at least um, uh, exactly one semester or two semesters so that they have uh, an idea of uh, the kind of uh, topics that they like or the, um, 
the skill set that they want to use or the company that they want to do the supervised project with. Uh, it's important for you to remember that um, starting the supervised project, especially if it's within a firm or a company, requires finding the project before beginning it. In terms of the thesis, um, the, the time for, um, for you to begin searching or thinking about your thesis is a bit uh, less structured than the supervised project. You can start very early if you come to the um, master program and you already know what your interests are and what you want to do because of, uh, uh, because of your previous experiences. But you might, you know, come into the master program directly out of your undergraduate degree. And so you might want to take one full year of courses before you, you really identify um, the topics that are really of interest to you. So it could be you know, as early as when you arrive into the program or you might decide to take a full year of classes before, uh, before uh, defining your idea for, uh, for the thesis. In terms of writing a, a good report uh, for the supervised project or a good thesis, um, the advice that I normally give is to uh, look up some good examples that are available. The examples would be uh, for the thesis, you have um, theses that are um, um, accessible online through the website of the library. So that gives you an idea of how the, the thesis is written. Both the thesis and the supervised project have the format of a scientific piece. So there's going to be a formal uh, introduction in relation to the literature, a methodological section, a section with the results and all this. So you will find examples of this in the uh, memoirs or theses that are accessible through the HC library website, or you can also read some scientific articles that are published in uh, academic journals in the topic of your, of your choice. And that will give you an idea of the, um, the writing styles that we expect. Genevieve, what do you want to tell us to conclude? Well, financial engineering is a very challenging program because a student has to be uh, comfortable not only with mathematics and modeling and statistics, numerical methods, optimization, uh, high frequency data. They have to be good programmers. They also have to need the financial data, the financial theory. So I don't know any individual which is great in each of the topics. I think the teams are much better than the individual. So it's a time to build your network among the students within the classroom and uh, in, in within the program because the team will be stronger than the people. If you want some uh, example of supervised project or thesis, you can visit the professor's website and if you click on the supervision tab, you have access to different thesis or supervised projects that the professors have uh, supervised. So you have information there. And welcome to HEC Montréal. Uh, so the, the topics of the supervised project or the, the thesis can be, can be quite different uh, in my own. Uh, personal experience, I am a macroeconomist, so I've, I've done, I have uh, supervised students that work on, on related topics. Uh, for the supervised project, I, I supervise a student that um, is working at the, um, he's doing uh, her internship at the um, Caisse de Depot, and in particular, they are looking at the impact of uh, monetary policy measures such as quantitative easing on the stock market in, um, in Canada. So that's something um, very practical if you want that the, that the CAS, uh, the depot has a direct interest in, in understanding. Uh, so so that's, that's an example of a supervised project. Uh, I've seen another student work on something quite different, which is uh, uh, in, another, uh, in another company, uh, Desjardins. Uh, this student was looking at the cyber risks that uh, uh, the Desjardins uh, Bank is, is exposed to and how potentially to, uh, to improve security there. Um, in terms of memoir, I, um, uh, I tend to work on, on topics that are closer to my, uh, much closer to my research interest. 
I have a student that has worked on the effects of uncertainty on the macroeconomy. Uh, so how uh, uncertainty in, in, in the economy or about uh, financial markets or even uncertainty about uh, well, the current situation, for instance, can impact uh, uh, GDP, unemployment, uh, and for economies like Canada, also the import and export sector. So the topics can be uh, can be quite different, as you as you can see, uh, even for the for the same uh, for the same supervisor. Uh, let me just add a couple of things that I haven't mentioned uh, yet. One is that if you have um, more questions uh, that are of academic nature, uh, you can address those questions to me. If instead you have questions of a different nature that could be um, more administrative or uh, related to tuition fees or uh, visas or anything else, in the rest of the presentation, Ellen will give you uh, the right contact for, uh, for those type of questions. So I, I take this opportunity to welcome you again to, to the program. If you have been here already, well, it's nice to see you again, and I hope you enjoy your, uh, uh, your studies at Ashes. Geneviève, could you reassure students and tell us a bit how it's going to work for the fall session? Yes. Okay, uh, this is a challenge. Of course, uh, the, the students that are abroad and not able to be in Montreal, don't worry, uh, you'll be able to attend all your classes online. Okay, now for some courses and for the students that are in Montreal, it will be feasible to be inside the classroom with the teacher. Not all classes, not all teachers, but some of them. Um, now for the software, for the uh, database, everything will be available online and it's the responsibility of the teachers and the, your research supervisor to provide you with the tool you need to do your courses and your research. Perfect, thank you.